Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about Escherichia coli characteristics. E. coli characteristics regarding the E. coli, uh, gram nature, the type of E. coli bacteria is uh, the antibiotic resistance, susceptibility, the culture, growth and everything. Every single property regarding E. coli will be discussed here. So the very first thing that we want to talk about is gram nature of E. coli. And we all know that the E. coli is gram negative in nature. The second important parameter we want to talk about is the disease that the E. coli cause. The disease E. coli causes are various kind of diseases. So here are the list in front of you. Urinary tract infections, UTIs can be caused by E. coli. Gastroenteritis can be caused by some variants of E. coli and some more diseases out there but mainly the digestive uh, distress and the UTI are commonly caused by pathogenic E. coli. The virulence factors that are listed by E. coli are uh, the fimbri, the pili, the extra cytosolic structures, uh, appendages uh, that help them to be attached or uh, adhesion, help in the addition of this E. coli bacteria to the host cell surface. So E. coli can interact to our epithelial cell or gastrointestinal tract with the help of this fimbri. The next uh, important feature is the lipopolysaccharide or LPS layer. E. coli releases endotoxin that triggers an immune response in our body. Then we have Shiga toxins. Okay, Shiga toxins cause tissue damage and symptoms in the host related to that. So Shiga toxin is also released by E. coli. It has type 3 secretion systems in it uh, that delivers the toxin directly into the host cell. Okay, uh, these are the virulence factors. Now if we move to the incubation period of E. coli, uh, we simply know what is the different variants of incubation period. In E. coli, the incubation period is 6 to 72 hours for gastroenteritis. And but in case of UTIs, uh, the incubation period can be longer, 4-5 days, uh, sometimes 7 days. If we talk about uh, the antibiotic susceptibility to E. coli, we know it is susceptible among various uh, strains like common antibiotics that are included in the susceptibility is fluoroquinolones and we have cephalosporins, ampicillins, all these three antibiotics can act against uh, the E. coli. But E. coli have antibiotic resistance properties. If we talk about that, it has increasing antibiotic resistance to multiple antibiotics, including extended spectrum beta lactamases, which are known as ESBLS. Extended spectrum beta lactamases, they have carbapenemases, are some structures that can destroy carbapenem antibiotic as well. So, both. So, they can go against the beta lactam antibiotics as well as carbapenems and they are increasing in antibiotic resistance. What are the culture methods that are available to culture E. coli? Uh, it can grow on standard culture media. What are the list of the culture media? Maconchi agar media is the media where E. coli can be grown. Eosine methylene blue agar uh, media uh, can be used to grow uh, E. coli. It forms lactose forming colonies. Okay, That is the characteristics of E. coli. What is the detection method of E. coli? Uh, for our cases. There are four detection methods. The first one we are going to talk that is a culture method. Now uh, it isolates the E. coli from clinical samples that is urine, stool or blood. The next important process to detect E. coli uh, are molecular techniques PCR polymerase chain reaction specific detection using nucleic acid amplification. The third important uh, detection method for E. coli here is enzyme immunoassays or EIAs. It detects the specific E. coli antigen or the presence of toxins in our body. And the fourth detection method out there are MALDI-TOF mass spectrometry. Okay, in this process, it identifies the bacteria based on the protein profiles the bacteria releases in the host cell. So these are the four methods to detect. Uh, e. coli in a host body. So this is uh, all general knowledge regarding the E. coli infection, E. coli characteristics. I believe you have a clear idea. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.